everybody. I'm just gonna show you a um, defloofing technique. Thanks, Dawn Vaughn. Um, so to get out packed undercoat, this dog upon arrival presented a lot of loosely packed undercoat. He's an older golden retriever and he is kind of losing some muscle. So we have to be really careful when we do this method to make sure we're not um, coming up against a bone or any of the structure underneath the tissue of the dog and maybe irritating it. But I'm using a wide tooth Andis undercoat rake. Um, and this dog has already been washed and he is covered in a protein treatment from Artero. So a good, strong, uh, or should I say a concentrated conditioner to help with um, the, the skin, or not the skin structure, the hair structure and to help provide slip from the coat. I've already done one side of him and even though he looked like he was shedding, he wasn't too packed, this came out just of the other side of him. Um, so again, I'm starting from the back of the dog. I'm not raking into the longer furnishings of the dog, okay? Because it could cause some breakage if you're not using finesse with your tools. Sorry, he's trying to jump out. Ugh, stay, buddy. But I'm using it all along the shorter jacketed areas and along the hips to get all of this loose. Okay, so short strokes with your rake. Do not break your wrist or bend your wrist because that's when you could be abrading the skin or breaking hair. But this nice conditioner that's in here provides a lot of slip to the coat and it helps, you can see that, right up and out of there, okay? So I always start at the back of the dog and work forward. Whoop, slippery. It's important if you do any undercoat removal in the tub guys that you have that hair clean and reconditioned you do not want to do this on dry coat and you do not want to do this on coat um, that has excess tangling when the hair is wet it's actually at its weakest tensile strength and it does not resonate sound like dry coat meaning that when you brush across a dry coat if there's any stretching or breaking of the hair you can usually hear it It'll be a crisp kind of a crackling sound, but when the hair is wet, the water fills in all the gaps in the hair shaft structure, as well as just muffling the sound in general. So you won't hear that quite so much and it can lead you to believe, well, I could brush a little harder or a little more thoroughly because it doesn't sound that way. But in reality, it still can be breaking coat. So you have to be sure that there's something on that coat to provide slip and that the dirt has been removed from the coat. That dirt just acts like sandpaper on the hair shaft, okay? So we're taking it layer by layer, tapping it up from the skin surface to the top and raking it out. But I would not go into long furnishings on a dog with this because it could break it. All right.